hello friends and uh, subscribers of someone's room i welcome you again now for this literal talk that we will have talking especially about end time events i want to talk about the really issue there's something which is happening but when you need to find what's the problem what's going on in the world as time goes on things are changing and life becomes so tough and so hard for for lot of people not for all some people enjoying life some people are not sinners but you see the grace of god is upon them that everything seems to be good but to many life has changed some have lost employment, they don't know how to survive. You may have the food today eating, but there are people today who do not know what are they going to eat. There are people who have families, they have children, and their children eyes are looking to their father. And the father don't know what to answer. Where are they going to get food? But see, there are children in, the, in the other countries who are eating and they remain with surplus. But these are few compared to those who are suffering. Will the situation change? No, not. As evil shall increase the love of many, when wax cold. Therefore, should not, I don't expect that things will change, because the Bible says so. And who can lift up humanity except love? Love is the only thing which can lift up humanity. And as days goes on, self uh, selfishness increases. Everyone is seeking for his goal. Some leaders, preachers, pastors fighting for their own ego. We need to think what's going on and what can I do? Our little enemy is not people. People are good. But evil is bad. Satan is our enemy and sin is our enemy. What Satan is doing now is fighting day and night. Meetings are held, uh, meetings of demons are held now and then to think how are they going to take God out of people's mind. Everything which is done now is to make sure that there's no God in human. That we cannot think about God. So how to do it? Make business be so tough. Let people struggle. Impress them to seek money. And once they come close to it, remove it away. Let them keep running towards money and success of this world. That they have little time to think about Jesus, to think about their salvation, to think about their future. But they have said, they decide that for those whom you allow to get money, you press them to focus more to increase their wealth, to become top among the wealth people. So the people who have of a lot and still they are struggling to get a lot but they don't for they don't think about God they don't think about their future what will happen after after die what's the benefit if you have all things then you lose eternal life what a gain and what a loss you have you lose eternal life for temporal things I'm not speaking against money but I'm speaking against the spirit which is working behind the scene 
to motivate people to do right thing for wrong reason. And uh, some meetings held to to make even religious people become so religious, so legalist, that they don't focus on Jesus. They focus on their own righteousness. That I want to be perfect. The more you come close to perfection, you see yourself weak because you are focusing on the law. Satan says, okay, lift up the law. Take away Jesus. Do not let them see Jesus. Let them focus on their evil. And then angels, evil angels are coming across to you every day telling you, you are not perfect. Try to be perfect. Don't you read the Bible? These people are perfect. Try your best. Try your best. And you think it's the Holy Spirit. Evil angels are working on the minds of Christians. Make sure they try the best. They don't have mercy. They don't have love. They hate sinners. If you sin before them, they can kill you. They are more legalistic. They are hardcore religion, religionists. We, we need people who have love. But some are not legalists, but they are liberal. What do I mean? That some evil angels have planned that go to people who at least have seen Jesus, they have seen the light of Jesus. They are changing from being rigorist. Now they are coming to become very Christians. Because they have seen the grace of God, if you make them to sin, they will, they will just uh, wake up and see what's happening. Because they have seen Jesus, take them extra mile. Come cross, imitate like you are the Holy Spirit. Tell them the good news about Jesus, the grace, the grace, no care. You can sin, you can sin, God loves you. Take them away as, as, as time goes on until they forget Jesus. They become sinners. And they forget about Jesus. They live thinking they are saved. To support the ideas, because they believe in salvation by grace, when they pray something, miraculously do it. Because once you do it, they will believe it's the power of God. They will continue in their sinning. They will not focus on Jesus. They will start earning and trying to get rich because God has promised richness. And then you can bring even the law of nature into their hearts. They apply their own nature. They become successful. They think it's God. Because they have no daily communion with God, no one to wake them up. So there have been so, so many plans to make sure that this world is under full control of Satan. Satan does not care if he forces you to worship him, or if he seduces you to worship him, whatever way, he will be ready to try any means so that he takes away God from you. So my friend, where do we need to stand? We need to stand on the word of God. One personal experience with God daily. Do not live on the past experience, my friend. That five years ago, when I was praying, I sent the presence of God. It won't help you. Yes, five years ago, what about day? What changed? What made you to lose the presence of God? Can't you seek it again? So, we need to focus on God. Focus on Jesus. Focus on having personal relationship with Jesus. Focus on him. Start the Bible every day. Pray every day. Surrender your will to him every day. We are not safe even one hour thinking about ourselves that we can succeed, we can be good Christians. 
only the presence of God would make us worthy to enter to the kingdom of God and live forever. My friend, now the time, as you're living in the end time, hold on Jesus. Take the word of God as it is written in Mark, Matthew 4.4 4, that the man shall not lead by blood alone, but by every word which, which comes from the mouth of God. So we need to start the word of God and get acquainted with him at peace. And then we shall find good. No matter what torture comes to us, dark angels are just surrounding us sometimes and we feel no hope, no peace. We better cry to the Lord, God, save me. Move in faith. Move in faith. Not give up your faith. Move on. One day, it will end up. God is alive. God is in heaven. Thank you, my friend. Because you're going to take time to think about Jesus. It's your lovely friend. May God bless you. Amen.